If opinion polls are right, the man in the middle of this crowd will on Saturday be elected as Australia's Prime Minister. Bill Shorten from the left of centre Labour Party is popular with many young Australians. He promises higher spending on schools and action to tackle climate change. But many say it is the chaotic leadership of the governing party that has helped the opposition most. We've got to stop the chaos and take action on climate change. We've got to stop the chaos and take real action on cost of living. We've got to stop the chaos and take real action to get wages moving. Since being elected in 2013, MPs of the right of centre government of the Liberal Party have turned against their leader twice, dumping Tony Abbott for Malcolm Turnbull before throwing him out for current Prime Minister Scott Morrison. MPs of the previous Labour government also deposed their own leader twice. If Bill Shorten is elected, he'll be Australia's sixth Prime Minister in six years. A change in Prime Minister through an election would be a break from the recent past. What Bill Shorten is promising is a period of political stability paired with big policy reform. On climate change, that means relatively ambitious targets for emissions reductions, renewable energy and electric cars. The current government has failed to act on climate change over many years and pollution has been rising for the last four years. So it's really risen as a crucial issue in the election. The government says tougher action on climate will hurt the economy. It also says a Labour government's policies on refugees will lead to what it calls weaker borders. The government has sought to deter refugees from trying to reach Australia and has sent them to detention camps on remote islands in the Pacific. The, the bottom line is, as difficult as this policy is, if you change it, if you weaken it, if you show a lack of resolve, then you invite on this country and the poor souls who would take the risks the worst of all possible outcomes. But Labour has effectively removed refugees as an election issue by saying it will continue those tough policies. Opinion polls can be wrong, but there is one certainty. Turnout will be high. In Australia, voting is compulsory, with fines for those who fail to show up to vote. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Sydney.